Hello and welcome to IT Army. Last year I created a video where I showed you how to convert your Windows 10 from Legacy or CSM that stands for Compatibility Support Mode to UEFI without reinstalling Windows. So a lot of guys they like that video and some of guys they were complaining they were not able to convert. So in this particular video I'm going to address the issue and still if you have some error just post in the comment section below that what error you are getting. So let's get started. So the very first thing you have to make sure before getting into this process is whether your machine supports UEFI mode or not. So if your machine is like 8 to 10 years old, uh, you definitely won't be having that support. But if you have a new machine, so it will be having that functionality. So just go check in your firmware settings whether you have the UEFI support or not. If yes, then only get started. Second thing you need to make sure is that the version of Windows you are having it should be at least creators update that was released in March 2017. How can you see what is the version of Windows so you can just go on to the right click the start button and go on the system and from there you can see here we have the September 2018 update so this is the latest update so if you have disabled Windows update just enable it and uh, get to the latest version then only you'll be able to do that thing. Second thing I told you that this conversion is possible online or offline. Online means that you are running an operating system and then you run that command MBR to GPT. If you want to do that thing offline, if it is not working online, then you can definitely try offline also. So you just need to boot off from the Windows PE bootable drive or you can uh, boot it from the Windows 10 installation, DVD or USB, whatever you have, and then you can do that uh, conversion. So first thing we talked about that your motherboard, whatever hardware you are using that should support UEFI. And now we talk about the disk validation fail. So a lot of guys, if they are uh, converting, they are getting disk validation fail. So first thing I want to make it very clear that this thing works only for the disks they are having Windows operating system installed. If you are trying to convert an external hard drive or secondary hard drives where windows is not installed you will not be able to convert to gpt so let's see if i go on to this particular system they can see that i have two hard drives so if i right click and go to this disk management and from here you can see that i have two drives disk zero and disk one so this disk if i try to convert where windows is not installed i have windows just sitting over here it will fail so I just need to open the command prompt. I can simply type in cmd for command. Right click and you must run as administrator. And by default when you run as administrator you go on to see Windows System 32 where that command is sitting. So I type in mbr tab and it automatically completes that command for me. So if I just type in enter, press enter key, you get these different options. So you can perform the validation before actually converting. You can convert, you can explicitly specify which disk you want to convert. So by default it looks for the zero. You can also specify that where the logs should be stored. So if I put forward slash logs and I can specify where it should be stored. By default these logs they get stored in C windows. And I will show you when we have the failure and uh, map what is the source and destination and allow full os so this thing you'll be requiring if you're converting it online while your windows is running and then you are converting you must specify this parameter that is allow full operating system so let me see that if i try to convert this drive where windows is not installed to convert to ue uh, to gpt and it will be giving error so if i say mbr to gpt forward slash convert I just I can validate or I can convert it actually I can say slash disk colon one the disk number is one and this is zero if I press enter key and it says that it can only be converted from pre-installation environment you must put the switch allow full OS okay so I say forward slash full OS allow full OS and now it's trying to convert and it will be giving error. So you can set this layout validation field for disk one. And this error you can find inside the computer C drive. You can go to this PC, C drive, Windows and sort these files by descending order. So you can see the latest file at the top. So it is uh, setup E double R and setup ACT that gives you a little bit more detail. So if I just double click on this file, 
is going to give me over here that wrong boot partition count expected one pound zero so it's not having any boot partition on the drive and that's why it's, it failed and this is the second it gives you more in detail that uh, how many partitions it found and details about each and every partition and all those things so you can see it just found one partition and that was a simple uh, data partition that is uh, type 7 okay so this was one type of error so from here it's clear that you will not be able to convert any non-system drives now second case was that in case if you have more than three primary partitions so if i just shrink it so 102400 so it will be shrinking to 100 gigs so i have 100 gigs and then i will be creating a simple volume of 500 So I have 50 GB. Now you can see I have three volumes and this one if I will be creating new volume. So by default it will convert this remaining space to the extended partition and extended partition can have internally multiple logical partitions. So this is the limitation of MBR that you can have maximum four partitions. So by default Windows creates three primary partitions. Remaining space is converted to a log extended partition and extended partition internally can have multiple logical partitions. So if I further create new volume, and I say I want to create 10240 that is 10, 10 gigs so you can see that it automatically created an extended partition the dark green color you are seeing and inside the dark green color you can see that we have one logical drive the blue color and then we have the remaining free space from that extended partition and now you can create as many as I want so if I say 1024 one more so like this you can have as many partitions you want to have within that one extended partitions so if this is the case and if you try to convert let's do this also occupy the full space okay so this is the scenario and I can see that I'm getting getting these all volumes now if I try to convert for disk 0 can say it's getting disk validation failed and now again we go to the same location in C drive windows and set up error and it is giving wrong boot partition count uh, over here unrecognized partition at index number three and if you want to see in the details this is the one I scroll further down you can see it's giving the details over here that found nine total partitions and it is type 7 type 7 type 7 and this one is type 15 that was the extended partition and extended partition internally having multiple logical partitions so you can see these are the logical partitions type uh, type 5 partition they are they are the logical partition so this is the main problem so in case in this case if you are having this kind of issue what you will need to do is you will just need to uh, move the content to some other primary partitions and delete this or if you can use some third party utilities for converting them or merging them different operations you can perform so what I'll be doing is I'll be deleting them so I can say I want to delete this volume So this disk management utility cannot perform ex uh, shrinking, uh, cannot perform the other operations. So you can just simply delete the volume and I'll be deleting this logical. So delete partition. Now it is all unallocated space. So you can leave it as it is or I can sh extend this volume to take the full space over here so I have you can see maximum three primary partitions you should not have any other type of partition and now if I go ahead and convert it will be succeeding so if I click in over here and I say I want to convert uh, let's so do validation first of all validate 
I can say it succeeded if I try to convert also it's gonna succeed Okay, so you can see over here that has created a 100 MBFI partition and now it's copying files and it's done. So you can see that this conversion is done. I can right click and I can see properties and now my disk is converted to GUI partition. So this is how you can convert your system. This was the one step. Second step would be that you go to the firmware settings or BIOS or UEFI settings, whatever you call them. and switch on your boot mode from legacy or csm to uefi so these are different options available how to convert your windows from legacy to uefi so hope you found this video useful if you have any other questions if you have any other problems during conversion please post in the comment section below and also don't forget to describe the entire configuration of your disk that you are having so that would be easy for me and if possible post the errors that you are having inside the log file so Hope you find this video useful. See you in the next video. Thank you.